I am going to use this turkey baster to remove the power steering fluid, which is Mercon LV fluid. So we're just going to put the first batch here in this cup after we empty it out and we can see the coloring on it. You see how worn it is. And it doesn't look too terribly bad. But we'll definitely get this changed out. So we'll show you what it looks like after we empty this out and fill it back up with some fresh Mercon LV. Now, I know you guys are going to yell at me, Bill, you're using Mercon LV. Well, you know what? I use Mercon LV in mine, and even though it says a Mercon V, I've never had an issue, no leaks, and the power steering is running great. So I'm going to stick with what I know and what works. So we're going to go ahead. We took that much out. This is the first drain. We're going to go ahead and pour some more in, and then we're going to cycle it, and then we're going to do the same thing again. I'm not going to be saying I'm good enough for that. There we go. Getting it filled up. There we go. But we're going to change it. You can see it's not too terribly bad, but it's still dark not red like we uh, took it out the first time so we're going to keep cycling it and adding fluid in until we can get this fluid looking nice and red again still dark it's amazing how it's acting the same way as the transmission fluid huh Please guess because I don't know which one is which. First cup on the right is the first drain. Really? Yeah. I could guess that to be the second. Cup on the right as you're looking at them. So does power steering and fluid ever really go bad? Yeah. Just like transmission fluid. Alright, this time cycle it again. Right. We're going to keep turning the wheel and uh, cycling this and draining the fluid. This is number four. Keeping, keeping it busy, aren't we? Yeah, there we go. This is number four. Let's see what we came up with this time. <clears throat> Starting to look better. Look yeah, at that. Looks way better. Oh, yeah, that almost looks like brand new. Still not there, though, compared to brand new. No. Way better. This is about the equivalent of your transmission, wasn't it? So look how many times we're going to do this to get the fluid out yeah. and how many times we did your transmission. Yeah. That'll tell you how many times you got to do your transmission to get it to looking like this. Wow. So you know, look at this. For this, it's like you need like a, a big wide glass plate that's clear glass, clear glass. You know what I mean? Only put like a quarter inch in it, then you can see the color a little better. Oh, you'll see it once it gets there. That's I've done this before. Oh, okay. It'll be real noticeable once we get to the point. So we're gonna, we're gonna do at least another. It's probably gonna take. Yeah, it's we're gonna probably another quarter run. Yeah. 
This is fill number six. We'll cycle it and we'll pull it out one more time. And we'll see what it does. There we go. Or we'll cycle it and then we'll drain it and refill it and we'll call it a day, I bet. And this is the one. I bet you we're done. I bet you this stuff's coming out. Look at that. That's what you want your transmission to look like, right, Dory? Yeah. Look how many times we had to do that. Seven. So, in order to achieve this color, we'd have to drain and refill your uh, um, transmission that many times to get achieve this. Wow. Ah, that sucker ain't gonna give it up this time, is it? That's the first one. I need it for the last one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we had a malfunction on the turkey baser, and as you can see, we put a hose clamp on it. Yes, we put a hose clamp on a turkey baser. There's a first for YouTube, right there. As you can see, it does work a lot better. It kept popping off, so. But I think we got the fluid changed out. And we're just going to fill her back up, and I think Tori will be good, because look at that nice red fluid. So we're all set. It took a bit, but it got clean, didn't it? Good for your power steering. <laughs> Oh, let's see, uh, oh, you sell parts, right? Mm-hmm. How much a new power steering rack cost? Uh, or is this cheaper than a new power steering rack? It's more cheaper. Two quarts of more kind of yeah, transmission. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend changing that unless you had to. <laughs> you know how you got to remove the power steering rack on that thing? No, I have no idea. You got to jack it up, and then you got to remove the subframe, and you got to drop the entire subframe out of it, and unbolt the power steering from the wheels and drop really? it all out just huh. to change the power steering rack. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this is a lot simpler yeah. to keep it running. It's all dirty. I'll let you do cleanup. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. About but uh, anyway, folks, we got that all done. Let me show you what the fluid looked like. A bit of battery left, but as you can see, there we have the fluid. And then, of course, the fluid over here is the original stuff. And then this is what we took out of it. Okay, so it was quite dark, and uh, if I had sunlight, this would definitely look red, as you can see it in the sunlight. It's still dark, not like the new, but it is still a lot better than it was. So, uh, this goes the same way with your transmission, as Tori found out, that a drain and fill three times leaves you with fluid that looks like this. But if you do a drain and fill that many times, that is what your fluid will look like. Interesting, isn't it? So, that's what we have. Okay, folks, Mac T here, and we do have the power steering done. Just to wrap up, we did uh, about seven drain and fills on it, so we do have that finished up. And so the power steering is good to go. We got fresh fluid in this Lincoln MKX, and we're all set. This is Mac T Ford Edge. Remember, join up with that Facebook group group on Mac T Ford Edge and also subscribe to YouTube Mac T Ford Edge click the bell so you get the reminders and remember my feet hit the floor today and I'm having a great day and I want you to have a great day and of course with all things said I also have some music raw footage and of course uh, some words from Mercy Girl thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe
This is a Mercy Girl production. Goodbye, Tori. Thanks for all your help. Appreciate it, guys. What do you think? Did I do a good job? I'm shocked at how well and fast it went, literally. I mean, it's crazy. I never would have thought all this could be done so fast. And they make you sit in the garage how long? Uh, Whole day? Yeah, eight to two. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got it all done. So, anyway, I'm going to head back to Davenport, Iowa, because I'm here in Indiana right now. Tori fed me pizza. Look at that. That's good pizza too. I'm sure my diet really loved it. But anyway, uh, we're going so 